Do you think that your MacBook is perfect but lacks some storage space? Well, you can add some storage by doing some tricks like this. However, aren't there any similar yet different options to increase the storage capacity? This is Linus from TechLine HD and in this video we will review something similar but at the same time a bit different. Of course, there may be even better options like upgrading to a brand new SSD disk which has bigger capacity. However, we decided to review something way more simple to install and much cheaper. Is it a good addition to your Mac? Let's find out. Meet the Transcend JetDrive Lite 330 128GB storage expansion card. Since there are different card types for each MacBook, we will review the card which is designed specifically to the 13-inch MacBook Pro with Retina display late 2012 version. As you can see, I needed to use some tape to repack the expansion card since I've been using it for more than a month now. Let's take the contents out of the box and see what we have here. So here is the storage card itself. It is packed in the plastic and let's just put it aside first and see what else we have. Here are some instruction manuals and as usually we do in our reviews, we don't really care about them. Let's take the card out of this plastic. And the first thing you are going to notice how small the card is. It is actually about half of the size of a regular SD card. What's more, it's made out of matte plastic material as any other storage card. Here you can definitely see that the Transcend card is half of the size of this regular SD card. The company needed to cut the card size in half since you cannot squeeze in the whole regular size SD card into nowadays MacBooks. Well, you can try but we're not sure how it will end up. The idea behind this odd thing of MacBook is probably that Apple usually wants to carry the thinnest and lightest device crown in the world, so it needs to save every inch in its MacBooks. The size comparison also shows why the Transcend storage expansion option needed to be much smaller in physical size. It stays almost completely flush with your MacBook, therefore it assures almost seamless design and comfort. Well, when we say almost, this expansion card does stick out a bit, but it does not exceed 1mm. On the other hand, the fact that the card sticks out a bit helps remove the card without the need of any extra tool. Well, unless you call your nails an extra tool. Actually, if you want to remove the card, we suggest you doing that before you cut your nails because you need a bit of extra pull to do that. On one side, it is good that the card stays firm in your Mac and you don't need to be afraid of losing it. On the other hand, it takes a little bit of time taking it out and honestly, we did not like that extra effort we needed to put. If you are a photographer and use regular SD cards on a daily basis, we suggest you buying an extra SD card reader unless you like breaking your nails from time to time while trying to take out the Transcend storage device. Let's do some testing using the Blackmagic Speed Test app. We are doing the test on the 13 inch MacBook Pro with a Retina display, which is late 2012 model. It has 2.5 GHz intercore i5 chip inside along with 8 GB of RAM. The Transcend declares maximum read speed of 95 MB per second and maximum write speed of 60 MB per second. The declared speeds are pretty good in our opinion. Well, let's see how the storage expansion card performs on this test and if it can keep up to the manufacturer's declarations. We have to say that we ran a test for more than 10 minutes and the app did not finish testing it automatically, 
therefore we hit the stop button manually. We skipped the whole test in our video and we will try to sum up the results which are, however, not the same as manufacturer declares. The Blackmagic speed test app shows that the storage card reached about 50 Mx per second read speeds and about 40 Mx per second write speeds. Well, we think that the test results depend on many factors including the hardware and software of the computer. Therefore, we should also take a look at the real-life tests to see how it performs. The first real-life test we are going to do is transferring a file which is about 1 gig in size. This time, we will transfer it from internal MacBook SSD drive to the Transcend flash drive. We see that it performs quite fast as it takes just a bit over 30 seconds to complete the file transfer. This time we will do the opposite test with the same file. We will copy it from the Transcend flash drive to the internal SSD of MacBook. We can see how fast it performs right now as it takes just about 20 seconds to transfer one gig file. So there you have it. We believe that the Transcend flash card is an excellent storage upgrade option without the need to take the computer apart and install a new SSD drive. What's more, the whole installation process takes just a second without the need of any additional software. Also, the card stays almost completely flush with the MacBook so you don't need to worry about breaking it or losing it while you carry your Mac on the go. On the other hand, we found it a bit too difficult and inconvenient to take the card out, but it is far from the deal breaker. Since I've started using a regular SD card from my camera more and more, I consider buying an extra SD card reader to let the Transcend card rest in my MacBook. In addition to this, the synthetic speed test showed a bit slower speeds than it is declared by a manufacturer, but the real life scenarios showed how fast the file transfer speeds are. Well, they are fast enough for us. Finally, it is a much cheaper option to add that extra 128 gigs than buying a MacBook with more storage directly from Apple. Considering all the pros and cons, we believe that it is one of the best ways to go if you need more space without breaking the bank. Of course, buying a spare SD card reader would be an asset unless you like taking the card out and possibly breaking the nails from time to time. You don't need to bother about it if you are not planning to use other SD cards a lot though. It was Linus from Techline HD, thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it thumbs up, comment and please subscribe to the Techline HD YouTube channel if you want to see some more tech videos. See you next time.